All right, everybody, this is a guided walkthrough for the Cookie Monster Secret Recipe Challenge. This is a easy challenge in the web app hacking category from the Pico CTF 2025 event. So the description here says, Cookie Monster has hidden his top secret cookie recipe somewhere on his website. As an aspiring cookie detective, your mission is to uncover this delectable secret. Can you outsmart Cookie Monster and find his hidden recipe? You can access Cookie Monster here and good luck. Okay, so this is a web app challenge. So there's a link that's gonna link that's going to lead to a website. So it's gonna be this link right here. We can right click and put this in a new tab and then we can investigate the website. So we see here that this is this was this is what looks like um, a web app login page. So what we can do is we can test a login. We don't know exactly what is going on with this login, but we can put in test for the username and test is the password. We can click on login. And then it says access denied. It says cookie monster says me no need password. Me just need cookies. So hint, have you checked your cookies lately? So this is a pretty obvious hint as to where we're supposed to go to solve the challenge. Uh, let's talk a little bit about this before we uh, before we do that. So over here, let's talk about this. So this is um, we're talking about the HTTP cookie header. So an extremely common HTTP header is the cookie header, which is used to re retain user settings or establish maintain user sessions on a website. For example, a website has a button on its user preferences page, which sets the web page background color for the website. Once the color is selected, the web server will send a cookie to the web browser to be used anytime the website is visited, changing the website's background color to whatever is specified in the cookie. Similarly, when a user successfully logs into a website, the web server will send the web browser a cookie that identifies which user session is being used and the browser will use that cookie each time that website is accessed. Any cookie that is used for user sessions has the potential for security abuse, so it's important that the cookie values created for user sessions are not predictable at all. On this application, after any login, we are assigned a cookie named Secret Recipe, and the value of the cookie looks like a base 64 encoded string. So let's go ahead and go back to the web application over here. We can actually look at the cookies that we have for any website by going over to our web browser and opening up the application menu. So this is sometimes called um, a hamburger menu. And we can go down to more tools. And we can select these web, uh, web developer tools over here. So this is going to be different for every single web browser. I'm currently using the, the Firefox browser. It's pretty similar in, in Google Chrome, um, but we can use, I think it, they share a keyboard shortcut. You, so you can do control shift I to open up the, uh, the web developer tools. And after you do that, you're going to see a bunch of different tabs over here. The tab that we want to access is the storage tab. So the storage tab is going to be located over here, so we can click on that. And then inside the um, the little sidebar, there's cache storage, cookies, index DB, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We want to click on cookies, and then under cookies, we're going to see specific websites where we can see the cookies. So click on the website for Pico CTF, and you're going to see the secret recipe cookie over here, and it has this value. So the value by itself might seem like um, it might seem like a bunch of gibberish, but we're, we actually we're actually going to inspect it. So you can go ahead and select the value and copy it, and we can go over to we can solve this a number of different ways. The um, the most the easiest way is probably just to go over to your Pico CTF web shell. 
And in the Pico CTF web shell, we're going to use the echo command. So echo n, echo dash n, and then a couple of single quotes. In between the single quotes, we're going to paste in the cookie value. And then after that, we're going to give a little pipe character, and we're going to pipe this into the base64 command with the decode flag. So let's go ahead and try this. And it says here, Pico CTF, cookie monster loves cookies, and then this, uh, this little hex value. So this is the, uh, the flag for our challenge. So before we finish the challenge, let me just show you one more way we can solve this. So we're going to copy this flag one more time. Sorry, we're going to copy the cookie one more time. And then we're going to go over to Google. And we're going to Google base64 base decode. And there's a bunch of different websites that we can use to uh, decode from base64. So we can paste in our cookie value here. And then we can click on decode. And we get the same we get the same flag over here. So let's go ahead and copy that flag. Then go back to the challenge page here and scroll down inside of the cookie, sorry, the, the flag submission field. Click into the field, paste in your value, and then click on submit flag. Looks like our server is not responding. It's OK. We can wait a couple of seconds and try again. OK, submit flag again. Oh, looks like it's not, <laughs> it's not responding again. That's OK. Sometimes the Pico CTF web server is not very responsive, so we can try a couple times, and uh, hopefully it goes through eventually. Submit flag again. OK, it worked. OK, we solved the challenge. Great. All right, so everybody, this was a guided walkthrough for the Cookie Monster Secret Recipe Challenge from the Pico CTF 2025 event. If you enjoyed this guided walkthrough, please click on the like and subscribe buttons on the video and leave a comment underneath the video. But until next time, Hacker Frogs out. Hey there, hacker frogs. Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel. And it's totally free. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also, click on the like button. And if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.